Okay, these are the questions and answers on ammonia. Very short, simple. Let's start with the first question. So he says the diagram shows some reactions of substance Y, and he said Y, uh, when it is heated with ammonium compound, it gives ammonia, and when it is heated with acid, it gives a salt. Just to react with acid to give a salt, it has to be a base. Okay, to grow rose plants, a fertilizer containing nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium is often used. For the best, best rose flowers, the fertilizer should contain a high proportion of potassium. So you're looking for something that has nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and the one that has the higher potassium. So which one did you choose? Well, A has the higher potassium, but it doesn't have any phosphorus, so you cannot choose that, so we have to choose B. Which reagent, when mixed and heated with ammonium, liberates ammonia? Remember, what was the test for ammonium? We add what? We add a base to give ammonia. Now, which of these choices are a base? Do you remember what was lime water? Lime water was calcium hydroxide, and calcium hydroxide is a base, so if you add it to something that has ammonium, it will give out ammonia gas. Ammonia is made by the Haber process. What are the sources of nitrogen and hydrogen in the Haber process? Where did we say we get nitrogen from? We get it from the air. Where do we get hydrogen from? By reacting methane with steam or by cracking of a hydrocarbon. We said that is what gives uh, hydrogen gas. So reacting methane with steam is a method of getting hydrogen. Okay. Um, Ammonia is manufactured by the Haber process. The forward reaction is exothermic. Describe how the reactants are obtained. Again, how do we get nitrogen? We said we get nitrogen from what? Fractional distillation of liquid air. How do we get hydrogen? We said, first of all, fractional distillation of petroleum to form alkanes. And then cracking of the alkanes using aluminum oxide catalyst and 400 to 700 degrees centigrade. The other method that was mentioned in the previous question is also possible, but then you, uh, this is the, a good process because he has three marks for it. Describe how ammonia is made in the Haber process. Give the essential conditions and an equation for the process. So he's asking, how do we make ammonia? Of course, we make ammonia by reaction of nitrogen and hydrogen to give ammonia. What were the conditions? 450 degrees centigrade, 280 m pressure and finally divided iron as a catalyst and he wants the equation of course this is a reversible reaction okay here he's saying ammonia is manufactured by the Haber process the economics of this process require that as much ammonia as possible is made as quickly as possible explain how this can be done using the following information remember when we were discussing these conditions we said normally it is done at 450 why not higher or lower it is done at 200 atmospheres pressure. Why not higher or lower? And why do we add an iron catalyst? So this is basically what you're supposed to explain, that the temperature is 450. Why? Because if I do it at a lower temperature, the reaction will be too slow. If I do it at a higher temperature, then the reaction shifts to the left backwards because the, it, that is the endothermic side, so less yield of ammonia is obtained. Now, the pressure is done at 280 M. Now, at lower pressures, there is less yield since equilibrium will shift to the left to give more molecules. A higher pressure will be too expensive. And of course, we add the iron catalyst to speed up the reaction. Okay, nitric acid is used to make the fertilizer ammonium nitrate. What advantage has this fertilizer over another common fertilizer ammonium sulfate? Of course, if I have ammonium nitrate, then the percentage nitrogen that it has is much more than that in the ammonium sulfate. And I want something that will give more nitrogen. Okay, plants need nitrogen to make chlorophyll. Explain why chlorophyll is essential in plant growth. Now, chlorophyll, remember we were saying that chlorophyll is needed for photosynthesis. Now, how does it work in photosynthesis? If you've done this before or if you realize this, chlorophyll absorbs sunlight converts light energy to chemical energy. This is used in photosynthesis to change carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen needed for respiration. 
state the essential plant nutrient not supplied by ammonium phosphate remember that we said a fertilizer needs uh, needs to have what nitrogen phosphorus potassium so which one is not present here it is the potassium the soluble compound calcium dihydrogen phosphate is made by heating the insoluble rock for, uh, phosphate with sulfuric acid why would rock phosphate not be effective as a fertilizer so he's saying why is this calcium phosphate not effective as a fertilizer we said the fertilizer must have what nitrogen phosphorus and potassium this one has only phosphorus so it doesn't provide nitrogen or potassium okay this is an experiment grow well and plant strong are two different fertilizers the fertilizers improve growth of plant a farmer decides to buy one of these fertilizers to improve the soil in his land but you have to do an investigation to find out which of these fertilizers would be best were you able to think of something so he should have he wants he wants to grow beans so we're going to use two bean seedlings we're going to compare the two bean seedlings so they have this to have the same what same age same height same species and then what are we going to measure we're going to measure the initial height of the seedling put the seedlings in same amount of soil add equal amounts of water weigh equal amounts of fertilizer using balance and add one to each soil leave for five days for example at room temperature and what are we measuring the final height of each seedling the one with more increase in height is the better fertilizer reasonable okay so that is the end of our chapter and we'll meet next time in this chapter on the last chapter on sulfur and sulfuric acid.